Are you stressed out because you have no idea what to do on social media? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna actually help you understand the purpose of social media and help you understand that it's a little overrated. My name is Lazy the Gifted. I'm a self-producing artist and I've been making music for 11 years. I also do digital marketing as well. And uh, I wanna just basically help artists and producers understand the purpose of social media and kinda help you understand that it's not exactly like the most dire thing that you need to start making money. So. First of all, what I want to help us understand is what's the end goal here, right? So for me personally, end goal, wake up every day, make music, all right? And so now I realized that I couldn't do that if I wasn't making money and I want to make money with music. So I was like, all right, cool. So I want to make money with music. How much money? Well, I also have big dreams. I want to be like, I want to be pretty wealthy. So the first vehicle is going to be music, right? That's where I want to make my first seven figures is with music. So, all right, cool. What's the fastest path to get to that? What's the fastest path to get to the bag? So I figure, I've, I've started to figure that out now and it ain't what you think. So what I'm currently doing is I run paid ads to begin messenger conversations with people who might be interested in my music. They get interested, I survey them, I ask them questions, you know, start a relationship with them. And at the end of it, I get their email address, I sign them into my private Facebook group and I sell them something. Some people say yes, some people say no, but there's people saying yes. I'm making money. I'm not growing on Spotify. My Instagram ain't growing. My YouTube channel's growing because I post these videos, but that doesn't matter. This is more for me to share knowledge with you guys and it's kind of more fun for me. It's interesting because I'm titling this video, The Purpose of Social Media for Musicians, but I'm actually gonna tell you about how overrated social media is. So, the alternative is what most people think to do, right? I was actually just talking to an artist about this like last week, I think. And we got on this call and <clears throat> I asked him, so like, what are your goals? And his goals, he said, well, I wanna grow on Instagram and Spotify. So why? He was like, well, I need to get more reach. And it's interesting how when I ask artists what their goals are and they talk about that, they say, I've heard that before. I wanna grow on, grow on, grow, right? I want to grow on this social media. I want to grow on this. I want to grow my Spotify. I'm like, wait, why is that your goal? That's not a goal. That's like an accomplishment you want to see happen. And I guess that's the same as a goal. But isn't that the goal? Isn't the goal to make money with music? Oh, yeah, totally. Like, that would be amazing. And it's kind of sad, actually. Like, I'm going a tiny tangent. But it's, it's kind of sad, actually, because, like, we aren't even in tune with our own goals as musicians. It's really sad. It's sad because... Our brains have gotten so wrapped up in this slave mentality of being a slave to these social media platforms and streaming platforms that we lost touch with our own goals. This is like deep thinking stuff you gotta do. The video today isn't exactly like super tactical, but it's it's kind of impo- it's really important because your goals isn't it your goal to make money with music? Your goal is to make a living. Your goal is to make six figures with music as an income. Your goal is to make seven figure income with music. But do you think it's possible, first of all? If you don't think it's possible, you need to fix your mindset. If you know it's possible, do that. Build a business from your music. Build a business from your music. Simple. It's not simple. Simple to understand, difficult to execute. When I say build a business from your music, direct response getting people to notice you, selling them something, growing an email list. doesn't matter if you grow on Spotify. It doesn't matter if you grow on Instagram. Forget all that. Because that stuff doesn't get you paid. You know what I mean? That stuff doesn't get you paid. It can if you use it the right way, but the return on investment, trust me, it ain't worth it. On Spotify, we're getting 3,000th of a penny, and I've talked about this many times. You get a million streams, you get a little less than $4,000 off um, Spotify. For, four, for a million streams. So why are we all still continuing to use that? So the purpose of social media and how overrated it is. So here's what social media can be good for though. And here's what Spotify can even be good for, okay? I personally am still gonna upload my music to Spotify and Apple Music and Tidal and all that. Why? Because I, I do still want my fans to have a convenient way to hear me. Cause like, I'll be honest, I have Apple Music, right? I have Apple Music. 
And like, I want to listen to my music that, that way. I don't, the other way is like, I've seen artists, like one of my favorites was Ryan, is Ryan Leslie. I love Ryan Leslie. But for a long time, he had none of his music on streaming platforms. And the only way you could get it was signing up to his website and going to private SoundCloud links. And I was like, you know, I get what he's doing. But for me personally, I didn't like it because I wanted to add him to my playlists and I couldn't. And it was just inconvenient. I think he's since put his music up on streaming platforms, but at that time I couldn't, I couldn't really hear his music consistently. And that was like annoying. So I always said, okay, I love what Ryan Leslie's doing. If y'all don't know who he is, go check him out. Ryan Leslie's the, one of the most innovative independent artists of all time. He's one of the most independent artists of all time. He's just so low key, but he, Ryan Leslie's like legit a legend. I just didn't like that one thing where he didn't have his music up publicly. But, so then I vowed, I was like, okay, I'm going to use these platforms so I can put my stuff up there. People use Instagram. I want to be there. I want to be there on Instagram so people know, so people see me there. Because there's nothing wrong with having yourself out there more. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. But the mindset of I'm going to blow up on this or I'm going to, I'm, I need to I need to always bend what I do to these algorithms or I need to be stressed out if I'm not growing or why am I not growing on this platform or if I grow on this platform I will grow my fan base you won't though because <laughs> Instagram when you post something it only gets shown to 2% of who, who follows you TikTok, oh, songs are blowing up on TikTok right now. You're right, yeah, they are, but it's gonna take a lot of work. Everything's gonna take a lot of work. I'm not trying to say you should get out of the work. But like, when you go on TikTok, here's what happens, okay? And it's very possible. And, I, and I'm not anti, okay? I'm not anti. But this is what you gotta do. The simplest thing to do on TikTok is post a bunch. Post every day. Post every day. Post dope shit, but like post every day. Post every day for a long time. And study it and get dedicated to it and dedicate yourself to growing on TikTok. But at the end of the day, even if you get tons of followers and a, and a TikTok blows up, that next step, we don't know. Again, I'm not anti, you should try it. But it's, a, and, and it's also every day you're playing a hoping game, hoping and praying. There's no analytics you can measure. There are, there's the analytics on TikTok. I'm talking about business analytics, like website visitors, sales, open rates, click through rates, you know, important business metrics, not like they, they get you sucked into these metrics on the platform like watch times and likes and comments. That's not helping you grow a business though. So for me, I just preach a different message. I'm really, really hyped and excited with the route I'm going because it's not a hoping game. I can control what's happening. I run ads, I get messages every day, people listen to my music every day, and I get sales. I kinda like that. I like not having to worry about, okay, what am I gonna post on TikTok? What am I gonna post on Instagram? How am I gonna do at this? How does this work? Um, because I used to have to do all this. I gotta start posting more often. Ugh, I've been posting for months and nothing's happening. Ugh, I've been posting for years and I still haven't really made consistent sales with my music. Why do you wanna go through that? Ugh, I don't know how to grow on Spotify, like blah, 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 I don't know what to do, these playlists. You know, they want me to pay them. They're all pay to play. And I got to find the contacts of this playlist curators or I got to pay some platform like Submit Hub or Playlist Push and, and get my stuff up there. It's, it's so hard. It is hard. It's pointlessly hard. Build, a f build something better. Build a business. So, I, I mean, I've got... I've got a book you should probably read. You should go read Russell Brunson's books, dot com secrets. That's the one you should read. All three of them though, dot com, expert secrets, traffic secrets. But the but the one 
for musicians. Go read Dot Com Secrets and think about it in the frame. Y'all yeah, not gonna read it. I already know you, but you should go. If there's one person who goes and reads it, lit. I changed somebody's life. But 99% of you, you're too fucking lazy to read. and You're not going to read. But the rest, the one percent of you, y'all go, y'all go read. Go read it. It's a great book. Okay. Um. And, and it's going to really show you how to build an online business and what routes to take. And it's going to really help, like, even if you're a musician, think of it in the frame of being a musician. Producer, artist, does, doesn't matter. Right? Dot com secrets. And um, the other thing is, I, I know how hard it can be to navigate through this stuff. And I know, like, the stuff I said about running these ads and the messenger conversations and getting sales, you're probably like, I don't even know how to set that stuff up. Here's what I'd love to offer you, okay? I'd love to just offer you a free call. Would love to just take a look at what you're doing, dive into your business, or if you have one, right? Dive into your music career and see what I can do to help. If you're a music producer or an artist, I can help you. Um, all you gotta do is click the link below in the description and you can book a call with me. I'd love to have an opportunity to get to help you, you know, start actually getting sales with your music career, whether, you, like I said, whether you're a producer or an artist. All right, and don't forget, like and subscribe um, and comment. All that stuff helps. I wanna keep posting these videos every week and, uh, you know, if we start growing this, maybe more musicians will be able to see this too, and this will be able to help them as well. All right. So thank you so much for being on today. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you next week. Peace.